morning everybody, welcome to the final culmination of our May 1813 campaign. For those of you who've been uh, watching our videos, you've seen uh, uh, the uh, devastating defeat inflicted by uh, Marshal Ney on the British uh, at Quatre Bras, the British counterattacked and the French uh, 1st and 2nd Divisions, have I got that right, Ryan? No, 3rd and 4th Divisions, supported by a uh, Curacao Brigade. Uh, destroyed pretty much the British 2nd and British 5th Division, driving both of those back off the table, their retreat covered by the British Heavy Cavalry. But the British defence uh, and effort, or the British push and effort to support Blucher has come to nothing, uh, and those British forces have gone uh, in pell-mell retreat back towards Brussels uh, and potentially towards the coast. Um, so all now is in Blucher's hands. Uh, Napoleon has decided to swing the guard, and you can see the guard proudly marching onto the table here, um, from Quatre Bras onto Blucher's right flank. And um, we can see them here approaching uh, the Prussian uh, defensive lines. Uh, and in support of that, although much mauled in the last combat and Lingi, we have the French 1st uh, and 2nd divisions uh, also on table. The French also have available. Uh, the heavy cavalry uh, of uh, carabiners and dragoons to employ on this battlefield. For the Prussians, we have a pretty strong defence here. We have two Prussian brigades, um, and uh, we will. Uh, I need to uh, just make sure I've got my unit sizes right for the Prussians because I simply laid out the troops last night. But we've got uh, a brigade on the right here. I think this is the uh, fifth brigade, if I'm getting my brigades the right way around, with the sixth infantry regiment. The Berg troops in support, uh, an embedded Hussar uh, regiment, uh, and then some Westphalian landwehr occupying this village, supported by an artillery battery. And then we have the second brigade, again with the uh, Prussian regulars defending part of the village, uh, the Lutzel brigade, uh, or regiment rather, defending this part of the river line, and more landwehr in reserve. We also have all of our Prussian cavalry that has performed uh, pretty well in the campaign so far. So we've got our heavy cavalry brigade here of two dragoons and one Ulham regiment. And we have some Westphalian landwehr cavalry, which is supporting this infantry brigade. So uh, uh, more uh, uh, Prussian artillery on the hill back here. And we also have a horse artillery brigade to support the cavalry. So that can be deployed in the future. All the French artillery is off table. We have two divisional batteries, a guard detached battery and a 12 pounder battery. So the divisional batteries will be firing in support of the uh, first and second divisions. The 12 pounders will be supporting the guard artillery to try and shoot the guard in against this flank. Um, let's have a closer look at, at the figures we've got on table today. So we've got a young guard brigade. These are all triers with the red plumes uh, and a skirmish screen in front of them. We've got a Voltigeur Brigade, only three battalions in this one, with their skirmish screen in front. And then we've got the Old Guard. So we start with four regiments of 3rd uh, and 4th, Grenadiers and Chasseurs, and then two regiments, four battalions of 1st and 2nd, Grenadiers uh, and Chasseurs. Right. And then this is the start of the regular infantry. And you can see that's the first uh, division here of six battalions due to losses that have been taken. And then the second division, seven battalions there in the screen. All right, uh, we will, uh, we're not going to do any, um, no, no, we will, no, we will, because uh, clearly the Prussians will have had a go at doing some pre artillery bombardment. So we'll do some long range artillery fire for both sides, uh, probably uh, three turns as we normally do. Uh, we'll mark up those casualties and then come back with the first proper turn of the game. See you all in a second. My campaign records and they were important. Yeah, Prussians haven't suffered too many losses, but the heavy cavalry did uh, in the combat with the Dragoons. So we have a small regiment now of Dragoons and a regular regiment rather than two large regiments of good Dragoons. That reduces the Prussian uh, cavalry capability and we now have a small battalion uh, for one of these uh, regiments on the right. So uh, here we are, all ready to go.
back soon after the preliminary play. We'll just uh, do an update as we sweep along the front line. We've done the pre-game artillery. We took a couple of casualties against the Lutzau Battalion down here, another couple of casualties against the Line Battalion defending the village. And um, we have unformed uh, the Berg infantry down here, done a couple of casualties and four casualties against the Line Battalion down here. The Prussians, uh, that was all a result of French firing. Uh, they had no artillery assaults. We did roll for ADCs, but it didn't actually go through allocations. But I deemed, unless we had at least one ADC for all active brigades that was advancing, uh, we wouldn't have any spare to put artillery assault on. So uh, no artillery assault from the French fire, but, but caused a few casualties. For the Prussians, as they're on the defensive, they were able to deploy artillery assault with their ADC rolls uh, each turn. So we've caused slightly heavier casualties on the advancing French columns. And you can see, got a couple of casualties down here. Some more on these two battalions that are advancing. And we caused uh, a relatively high number of casualties against a couple of the young guard battalions that are advancing. So all pre-game artillery done. And we'll do our first proper ADC allocation and activation. All orders activated uh, and allocated and brigades activated. So the uh, Prussians on uh, the uh, right flank are active and they've got artillery assault on their supporting battery. The Prussians uh, holding this line are uh, again active. Uh, the land there in the village unfortunately went hesitant, but that was the only hesitant unit as there were plenty of ADCs for the Prussians. For the French we got a really good ADC pool, we got 10 ADCs, so we have put infantry assault on this regiment of the young guard, on this regiment of the young guard, and that's this infantry brigade, uh, and we did put a re-roll on the grenadiers, which we needed, uh, and they are active. Unfortunately for the French, the chasseurs uh, went hesitant, but uh, probably not too much of a problem as they're not to deploy at this part of the game. And then the French centre uh, has also gone hesitant with these two brigades going hesitant, but our brigade on the far left is active, but doesn't have infantry assault orders. So let's see where we are. So we've got three French hesitant brigades and one Prussian. Uh, both roll well, both roll an 11, but given the number of French hesitant brigades, the Prussians will have initiative and get to choose to act first. complete. Uh, so the uh, French who moved second have taken the opportunity to move forward. So we've got our first assaulting Trier Brigade now up to the river line, as are the Voltigeurs, as is the supporting element of the uh, uh, line division. And the two hesitant divisions haven't moved, but again uh, another uh, division or brigade rather has started moving forward to put pressure on the Prussian far left flank. Uh, which has got a bit of a gap at the middle middle river line, um, so we will have to move those land there up to reinforce that position uh, imminently. So that's it for movement. We'll now start uh, with Prussian uh, fire. So our artillery battery on the hill is going to fire over the river against these Voltigeurs. Let's see what they can do. So 
first onto the result of the game. Wow, that was nearly a double six. It just bounced off to an 11, uh, plus a bonus casualty. Um, we will check, but that looks like effective range to me. And an 11 is three casualties. So that's four casualties and a discipline test. I will just check the range. Indeed, it is four casualties. So that'll be a discipline test on the French. It'll be at minus two as that battalion has taken a lot of casualties. It's all right, it's rolled a 12. So it stays in combat formation, uh, but has uh, taken a fair hammering from the Prussian artillery. All right, let's go for our other Prussian artillery battery on this hill. Hasn't really got any easy targets. Those units uh, on the left are uh, up against the tree line, quite difficult to see. Um, we think uh, we are, um, yeah, I think I'll rule that uh, if they fire ball, there's a risk they hit that uh, Lutzau battalion. My sort of rule of thumb is if you're more than uh, halfway close to the enemy, then the guns are. Um, if you're shooting over a unit, you can't do that overhead fire. So we'll fire against this infantry battalion here. Sorry, the light makes seeing it quite difficult. Uh, apologies for that. So we will open fire against them. A five, uh, but there are, I uh, know these are Prussians, that's an 11. That's really good. Plus one bonus casualty. That'll be definitely a discipline test and three or four casualties. We'll just mark that up and come back with a discipline test. From the French side of the lines, we'll do a discipline test. It's at minus one. That's a retreat result. They go off table and they have no one to fall back behind as they're close to the table edge. They will be able to reform uh, as they're not routed as I, I use that as my house rule. All right, so they are pushed back off the table and on the retreat result, they take one D3 extra casualties. Wow, three more casualties. I'm not sure they'll be too keen on coming back right, at all. So with the uh, French long range artillery uh, now uh, screened by its own advancing infantry battalions, we can't fire at these Prussians on the ridge line, uh, sorry, but down in the river, uh, at the river line. Uh, so we'll have to do counter battery fire at long range, which doesn't go too well, uh, but we'll have a go at trying to reduce the effectiveness of this Prussian battery. We've got two 12 pounder batteries, that's not bad. That's a, a nine, that'll be reduced to a seven and a six, which will be reduced to a four. So the four will be no effect, the seven will be casualty on a four, five or six. It was, so that's first casualty against the artillery in the center. Uh, as the French haven't closed up to the river, we'll continue pummeling those infantry battalions. That's a nine at long range. I think that's one more casualty and a discipline test. Takes them up to two. Let's do the discipline test on that Prussian battalion down by the river line. They are a 10, they are fine. And then finally, we'll have to do counter battery fire against this battery up here for the French at long range. Seven goes down to a five on a four, five, or six. That converts it, does indeed. First casualty against this Prussian battery. That's it for firing. There are no charges. So that's the end of turn four. We'll move on to ADCs and turn five. Prussians pretty successful. We've got artillery assault off uh, against these guns. All Prussian brigades are active, but we had less ADCs this turn, so only one. Um, artillery assault in place. For the French, uh, all the young guard have infantry assault. Uh, the grenadiers are now hesitant and the chasseurs are active, so those two have swapped around. We have uh, managed to get infantry assault off on the brigade on the left um, uh, and infantry assault in place across the totality of this line French division. So the only units in the front line without infantry assault is this little brigade down here and obviously the old guard and middle guard don't have infantry assault either. So we have two hesitant French brigades uh, and no hesitant Prussian. This will be minus two for the French. Yep, the French do not have initiative in turn five. The Prussians, so the French are not delaying and they're already assaulting on the left flank. So we've got two battalions, uh, all whole brigade actually charging in. Uh, two battalions here, one in the woods and one supporting, going against the Lutzow battalion and another brigade going in against uh, this village, which is occupied by the 3rd Battalion of the Lutzell Regiment. Again, they have the support available to them. Then as we move across the line, uh, we were unable to do our charges, so unfortunately we were hesitant in this brigade here, but the young guard have got charging in. Two battalions going in against uh, this battalion of uh, Berg infantry, and two more battalions going in uh, against this uh, regular brigade. Let's see how these charges fit a volley from uh, these regulars. This is a small battalion, so that'll be an inferior volley and into cover. So we roll an eight. That goes down to a seven because of the cover. That is one casualty 
against the charging French. All right, and then we will also get a volley against this uh, battalion, which is also charging. Okay, this will be a standard volley at minus one. We roll a six, that goes down to a five. That again is one casualty, taking that unit up to six. One casualty in the charge. All right, now let's uh, do the charge. Right, so this will simply be a plus one to the French uh, because of our veteran status, very few casualties inflicted in the charge. All right, okay, so that's good for the Prussians. So the Prussians is a, a 10, the French goes up to an eight. So that is a minus two. So there will simply be a volley as that French column comes to a halt. It does cause one casualty on the Masketeer Battalion, but that battalion of guard does not charge it. Actually, sorry, the French do get the benefit of a reroll as to the Prussians. Given that the Prussians rolled a 10, they're not going to reroll, but the French will try and reroll this three. No, no difference. Okay, so the result stands. All right, and then for the second charge, again, this one will actually be a straight roll off uh, as we have six casualties to the uh, uh, French um, triers. Again, we both get the advantage of a reroll. The Prussians will reroll the two. Again, they get a 10. They're, they're feeling uh, well defended in this position, and the French get an eight. So, again, a minus two. So, the French will stop. They'll do a volley. Doesn't cause any casualties. So, the Prussian line holds against this young guard assault. Let's see whether the Berg can do that. It's a volley. They're reservists. They've only got two casualties. So, this will be at full effect. That's a pretty good volley. So as a 10, that will go down to a 9 because they're firing through the dense terrain. This is a stand volley, a 9 is three casualties on the attacking French. Wow, that's not good. They're now up to 11 casualties. That battalion has taken the brunt uh, of the Prussian defensive fire. They're all a 10, so they can charge home. Uh, but this does. Uh, this is going to look uh, like the Berg might hold this one off as well. Let's see the charge model for this charge. We'll be at minus three to the French. They do get a reroll, but the Prussians have rolled a double six. They have won by more than six, and there will be a destiny result. So at minus six, the attacker retreats with one D3 casualties, and the defender stands. And um, we will have to allocate, sorry, those uh, that defensive volley. Um, um, so if it's a two, it is indeed. That's sufficient. Three more casualties, and um, that French. Uh, Try a uh, uh, Voltigeur battalion has been destroyed by that defensive volley. That will be a fault test for the Omega. Hand spotted because <laughs> it was hidden by the tree. We have another young guard battalion charging there, so I'm going to have to rework this one out. Um, I, uh, I'll get the other battalion back on the table if I need to. So it was on eight casualties. We did three casualties with our defensive volley. Um, I think this, this battalion is out of arc and we don't want to wheel it into the river. So, um, so we cause three casualties, so that each battalion uh, takes uh, one casualty. Um, well, the two attacking ones take one casualty and two, because they have to take the majority. So, uh, so that attacking battalion that we had just rolled up um, is now on nine casualties. Um, so the charge result uh, will still be uh, a failure for them. Uh, but we do have the opportunity of charging in with the second battalion that has no casualties and we can take the best result from the charge wow another terrible roll for the french we will re-roll the two to a three okay so the whole brigade fails and the whole brigade has to retreat so, so i'll that, uh, roll up the retreat results on the uh, second battalion and they will have to uh, defensive volley for the prussian battalion in the building two dice because you're firing into cover one one casualty. Uh, if you could put a casualty marker on the unit that's charging the building, but given that it is a building, they will charge in. So they're now in combat uh, in the building. All right, now let's do the charge. Defensive volley by the Lutzow Battalion. That was a... That's yeah. a six. Uh, it goes down to a five uh, because it's a standard, standard volley and you're into rough terrain. So that's one casualty on the French. Uh, and they haven't taken any casualties yet. Right, let's roll our charge results. It, um, it should be just a straight roll off. We can take another one though because um, you went over the river, so there'll be one casualty. You yeah, charged. but it doesn't count as part of the charge result. You're right, there should be a second casualty on them. We'll put, we'll put two on them. All right, let's count. roll the charge result. Well, French at last do a bit better. 
Five. They get a five. You've got a reroll, Charlie, if you want it. Yeah. I'm gonna... From your support to the right. Stay on a five. So the French have one by four. By four. So I would take the ground. We could have a go at rerolling the three, which I think we will. We might try and try and get a breakthrough. No, a seven against a five. Uh, so we end by two. So we will melee with a lion. You will melee. And for his firing, uh, his uh, regular artillery battery against the middle guard, the Wait, third grenadiers. Are you at effective range? No, you're at long range. Okay. Okay. One extra casualty and a seven, so that'll be two casualties. Seven is, is I mean, a yeah. seven and a half. It's a half, yeah. So roll again. No, one casualty on the guard, if you could find a nice guard casualty marker. All right, okay, so one on the guard. All the troops down here have fired. Your skirmishers have been driven off. Um, next down lot. here, next lot is this lot of skirmishers. Yeah. So they would be five bases is four dice? Three, yeah. Three dice because you're shooting at skirmishers. Charlie. Yeah. Meaning fives or sixes. No casualties from those skirmishers. You've got your artillery battery up here yeah. that can fire. It can fire at that battalion. I think that's the only target yeah. really at the moment. Six. Six half. is half a casualty. No. Nothing doesn't convert. And your skirmish screens down here were driven off. So I think that's it for the Prussian firing. We'll now and do the French. the French were just doing their long range artillery fire. We didn't expect much much effect, but we did cause three casualties on the Lutzo battalion that was holding the river line here. Uh, and then Charlie unfortunately rolled a... Three. A three, indeed. So they have to retreat. So they've taken D3 casualties. Oh, how many did they take from the artillery fire, Charlie? You took one. Yeah, one. So they should be on four casualties, shouldn't they? So, uh, so, so, uh, so they've retreated back here. That's it for the end of shooting. Now, hand-to-hand -hand combat for the only uh, French units that got in. So we have one assault against the building and one assault against this unformed Lutzer battalion. All right, we'll just get the dice. And do the first. Four dice for the French, five for the Prussians. Wow, that's amazing. What did you get, Charlie? One, the Prussians are thrown out and the French have captured the building. And then the second charge across the river against the Luxembourg. French have the advantage here because they've got a land, but they only cause two casualties. Three. Okay, so the, uh, uh, I think they throw so, uh, Where I thought the French would break through, they failed. Uh, but where we thought the French would fail, they got into the village. So. Uh, it'll be an opportunity for Charlie to use his favourite land there to try and counterattack and recapture the village. Let's see how the combat goes as we move in to the next turn. next turn a couple of important falter tests so we uh, had the uh, uh, Lutzow brigade their regular battalion driven back out of the village and we had this one that uh, retreated as a result of the artillery fire so two retreating battalions means you need a falter test let's see what we get a five that's good news for the Prussians that means Lutzow can obey orders this time for the French we got a falter test against our young guard brigade uh, let's see how we do. A four. Let's just check back. I think as veterans, they might also be able to obey orders. Uh, it's not an obey orders, but it is a rally. So uh, the brigade stops retreating. It cannot be within nine inches of uh, enemy units. It's not. It remains hesitant, uh, but can uh, reform uh, during the course of this turn. So two successful uh, falter tests. Um, otherwise, for the uh, uh, move this turn, um, because of the number of ADCs needed to be committed to, f to, to those uh, false tests. Um, the Prussians haven't been able to get artillery assault off, but uh, uh, the, I think all their brigades are active. For the French, uh, we did commit. Uh, we got a good ADC roll, and uh, we have committed a number of ADCs to bring on our off-table reserves. So our Carabinier Brigade has come on table. 
Um, and uh, uh, otherwise, uh, we have a couple of faltering goat brigades, both the old guard brigades, so not a major impact on uh, activity this turn for the French, uh, but they did lose the role. So once again, the Prussians have initiative as we start the next turn. Turn six and we've got some uh, more charges by the French. So the Trier Brigade has charged in uh, again, uh, rotating some of their battalions uh, against these two units of Russian musketeers. And as we move across the front line, we can see the uh, Voltigeurs are reforming this turn. But our regular infantry brigade here from the 3rd Division has charged in against the Berg infantry with two battalions. And then if we move across the line, we can see down here for Charlie, he's counterattacked with one of his Lanfair battalions to try and recapture the village. Um, and the French have charged across the river to try and hit this unformed uh, last battalion of the Lutzow that are in the front line. All right, uh, that's where we are. Let's do charge resolutions. It's Prussians to go first as they uh, charge into this building. That'll be an automatic contact, but we do get two shots of defensive fire as we are up there. Charlie's open fire. He got a 10 for his volley from uh, this uh, small battalion down here. That's an inferior volley. And it goes down to a nine because they're firing into the woods. So that's three casualties and a discipline test on the Voltigeurs. They fail. Uh, they go unformed. And um, next one. All right. And then the next one, we've got another defensive volley from this battalion. It'll be at mi minus one because of four casualties and minus eight. one because of the head. So roll an eight. So Charlie's still rolling quite well. That goes down to a six for a standard volley is one casualty on the voltages that are attacking. Yeah. And then the OK, one. let's just let's just put reminders down so we know how many actual casualties were uh, inflicted in this round rather than the cumulative ones. All right, and then we've got, uh, do you want to do your defensive volley here as well, Charlie? Okay, so this is the Berg infantry. They roll an eight, another good one. Uh, that'll go down to a seven. Again, a standard volley is two casualties. So that's one on each unit, Charlie. Uh, on, hmm, you have to put the majority, yeah, I think one on each of the charging units, uh, if you could. That Another one. casualty counter on, so there's one on that one and one on that one. <clears throat> and have you got any supporting fire? You can do some supporting fire from the village, uh, although, yeah, you have got some skirmishes around, but I'm sure you can fire that. So th two shots from the village because you're firing into the woods. One well, more well, casualty. You'll have to go on this one though. Yeah, cause... yeah, so it takes them up to two. And two in the turn, so if you could change the blue dice to a two as well, please, Charlie. Um, and I and no, this battalion cause... here, can they do? They might be able to do an inferior volley because mm. half the battalion could get in. A no. six goes down to a five. Is that nothing, Charlie? Yeah. For an inferior volley. Yeah, lose five okay. spell now, if you're the, a recruit. The unformed one. Oh yeah, minus... and we'll, do, we'll might as well do them all at once. Minus three. So. Um, minus three. Minus three for being unformed and six. That's that just that goes down to a three, so they actually lose five spell, yeah. don't they? All right, so no more casualties there. All right, we'll now do the charge results. We'll start on the right. This is minus three to the French because we're unformed and have taken a lot of casualties. We will have a reroll. Uh, that's a seven nine. and a nine. I will reroll the one. Wow, that's pretty good. It's 12, but not a natural 12. So that takes me to a nine and you're on a nine, Charlie. Yep. So um, on a zero, I stop and do a volley. One dice only, we do do one casualty. All right, we stop in front of the musketeers unformed. All right, let's move on and do the next Second one. one. Uh, plus one to the French, because the uh, Prussians have taken casualties. They're on eight, we're on seven. Are you going to re-roll your three, Charlie? Maybe, I'll see what you get first. <laughs> I got nine. What would the result be? Um, on uh, winning by one, um, I would melee with Elan, you would melee unformed. And if I got lower, what would happen? Like if I got a one? Uh, it would be the same, and if you got even lower, it would be I'd take the ground. 
Oh, well. A 10 against a 9, so that's a draw. Uh, that's good for you. I stop and I volley, so same as last time. And I don't cause a casualty, so I have stopped in front of you. Down here. All right, good choice there, Charlie. Is okay, the assault's casualty? here, so we've got two charges. I don't have... So a minus one in this one, and that one is fine. Okay, I'm going to put my general on the one I'm on minus one with. So that makes me on makes them both zero. Oh, wow, you six. get a nine. You have got a re-roll. You, you could decide oh, whether I'm you want the re-roll. Okay, so for my first one, I get a seven. I'm gonna re-roll. A six. And then on the second one. You throw me back again as yeah, six. I'm keeping that. So I'm on a six, you're on a nine. I've lost by three. I retire and take one casualty. You Prussians have thrown the French back again. Let's say our French have got a better chance here. They're on plus three. Let's see how we do. Eight. And nine. I'm on 12. So the French win by four. The Lutzel will be forced to retreat and probably take D3 casualties. We'll just roll that and then we'll check possibly three more casualties. Prussian artillery has opened fire. The ones on the hill over here have opened fire against the old guard again. Caused no casualties. I think the battery down here, Charlie, where I think you I'm probably it's them, because they're really yeah. close to my infantry. Yeah. They're just yeah. the furthest they're away. They're the only one, yeah. It's pretty good. Mm. And eight, at long range, you'll just be one casualty, won't it, Charlie? Yeah. Okay. okay, and then... And then your skirmishers or anything like that. Three skirmishers. Uh, Three dice. Yeah. It's your dice. You're shooting at my skirmishers, though. So I've got the yeah. skirmish screen in front of you, so it's... That's three dice. Three, okay. Wow, that's pretty good. That's, that's a base off. And they take take, take one off that's not screening my infantry, please. Okay. And if I get all sixes, what does that? Doesn't that do? Something? I think I'm infantry has to take a discipline test. I'm not sure whether skirmishers do. We passed it anyway. If we do, um, any more volleys? You can. You fired from that building, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. Oh, I've got some more skirmishers. Any more skirmishers? Mm. No. Oh, these skirmishers here. Oh, that's them. Four dice. Which skirmishes are you firing, Charlie? The big line. Oh, what, this one against them? Four yeah, dice. four dice. That's uh, only three dice. Uh, no, it is four dice. One casualty. One casualty. All right, well done. All right, we'll do the French scout skirmish afar and then be back with their village. Slight advantage for the French because the land there are uh, raw troops. Two casualties. Two. Two casualties. That's a draw. We're going to stay in the village. Oh, and fight another on. round. We're going to carry on. Are you, I could put my extra. Oh no, I used it as support, yeah. didn't I? So I can't. Okay. We're going to carry on. Prussians have fought their way through some of the doors and windows. We're both on five dice each. Let's see how we do. Uh, French do well. They do four casualties. You only do two. So you go up to seven. And you retreat. Different initiative. Uh, plus one to the Prussians. All right, French get initiative in this turn. Let's see whether there are any French charges as we start turn. So two young guard battalions have again charged in this mess of combats down here. Um, otherwise, the French are just reforming their uh, attacks on this flank. Uh, down here, the French uh, have charged, here we go, across the bridge into this village. They have actually gone uh, in attack column. Uh, across the, the ground next to the bridge, but the terrain just makes that really difficult and hey, it looks nice charging across the bridge. So they've charged into the land fair there. Um, over here, the carabineers have come in and they've charged the uh, land fair lancers. So uh, that should be a glorious victory for the carabineers, but we'll see. And down here, we charged uh, with this infantry battalion, which drove away the Prussian skirmishers, but they did have a, a shot at us before we went in. And Charlie has charged with the land there again to try and recapture this village. All right, let's start resolving these charges. See how they go. Uh, down here we've got uh, Trailleurs charging in. Oh, and no. Charlie does another tremendous defensive volley. He's done really well in his shooting. So a nine goes down to an eight. So that's two casualties on the Trailleurs. How many does that take them to, Charlie? Eight. Oh my God, that's not looking good. They really are eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they took two in this turn. And then we've got a defensive volley from this regular battalion against this other battalion, the Trailleurs, that's charging in. A seven, that goes down to a six. And that's a standard volley, which is one casualty. Let's put a one by them so we can remember how many casualties were inflicted in that volley. 
then down here you've got a chart you've got uh, your uh, land there chart shooting no mm -hmm. nothing from them mm -hmm. no shooting down here and we shot my garrison against the land there and caused one casualty Should against we, them so we just start right down here? let's start with the charge resolution down here uh, minus two to the french six and six i'm going to re-roll my two with my support seven what would the result be? Minus two takes me down to a five against a six. I'll keep that one. So I stop and volley you again. So turn it around, do cause a casualty this time. All right. And this one. And then the charge down here. Nothing. It's just a no adjustments to me. I am plus one and you are minus one. So plus two to the French. French get a nine three. and a three. I'm we win by I'm... six. Uh, you've got a reroll. An eight, that was lucky. So it was, so I'm on a nine, 11 against an eight. So I win by four. I take the ground, you retreat, you take one D3 extra casualties, Charlie. You take two more casualties. All right, we'll just move that. Carabiners against the Lancers. It's only plus two to the, to the French. Wow, we get a five. We've got to beat an eight. Whoa, I thought that was going to be a, a huge embarrassment for the elite cavalry to be driven off by the land there. Oh, actually, Charlie, it's more than that because you are uh, recruits. So you're on minus one. So what was I? I'm plus one for heavy cavalry. Plus four then. So is it plus four? So four plus 11 is... One. It's a victory. Is 15. Yeah, 15 against eight. Victory. Is victory. 1d6 casualties on the Lancers. Okay, and they rout. And I charge on. You can charge them against. You can't. The skirmishers have done terribly and caused no casualties until we got right over here. And we did then cause three casualties out of three shots against the second battalion of Landwehr. We're now going to fire the French artillery. So the artillery supporting uh, the brigade assaulting this village hasn't really got any clear target. So it's going to have a. Uh, shot at the dragoons, I think, or it might fire. It might fire at these actually How can they because fire at them? they're right behind a building. Yeah, but the hills are higher than the buildings. So, uh, did you? Uh, I was going to suggest you move them into that village, or did they form up this turn? They formed last turn. Right. Are they in the village yeah. then? Okay, that makes sense. All right then. If they can't fire at them, they can't really see anything, so they will shoot at the dragoons at long range. An eight is half the casualty. Or is it one casualty, Charlie? It depends if it's minus two or anything. It's just one casualty normally. It's one casualty then. Okay, so that's one casualty on the Dragoons. First casualty, casualty, First casualty on, the on the Dragoons. Then the infantry battery supporting this brigade, this division in the centre. Um, hasn't got much it can see. Oh, it can see the Berg infantry. So it's going to fire at the Berg infantry. Uh, that's a five. That's half a casualty, which does convert. They already have casualties on them. Yeah, I think they already had three. I think that's their casualty marker. But um, they never would have retreated, so why would it be there? Well, I don't know. So who is those three casualties for then, Charlie? Because there's some units around there. They're not the Hazars. We haven't shot at the Hazars. They can't be the... They can't be the skirmishers, because you'd have lost a base. You had nothing else around there, so it must well, be... It could have been... They could have been on two casualties, and then you fell them back and got knocked and moved to three. Yeah, I don't think they've fallen back, though, so... I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll, we'll, I think we'll work it on the basis it's them. And then we've got our guard artillery, which is going to fire both at this Berg battalion. So that's a double one. So that means no artillery assault on the old guard artillery anymore. And a six, which is only a... Do which goes down to a half, which doesn't convert. Shouldn't they do more for tea casualties than casualties? Sorry? Shouldn't they do more for tea casualties? Uh, I don't know. It's trouble. It's really difficult firing the artillery at long range to have any effect. All right, that's it for the French artillery, and now it's for Allied firing. Charlie, what are you going to do? Oh, so I'm going to fire my gun close range against them. Okay. So. This is going to be painful. Maybe. So this is a heavy battery. Yeah. Oh, that's three. a one. That's a three. <laughs> um, no. That is. Is that it's a fatigue not... casualty or yeah, is it? It's a fatigue, it's a fatigue it's casualty painful. on the gun. It's definitely not painful. It's definitely not painful. That was a bit tragic. Okay. Let's see if Charlie can do better with this one. Uh, opening up against them. Five. I think that's at possibly as effective range as well, which is I good because I think if it was canister, you might anyway. clip your own units. I've so got five anyway, so it won't be too damaging. I 
close range. It is close range. But he's it? he's on top of a hill, so that's why I thought. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, you can't really fire shrapnel. But it does, don't worry. I think I think it's fine. fine. You're only clipping them. So you got a five. Close range is one casualty on that unit. Okay, now my skirmishes. Yep. Okay, how many three? Yep. So three shooting is three dice. No. And then my. Oh. Uh, you could do a volley against my skirmishers. Yeah. So there's a bit minus two. No, that will do nothing. Horrendous. You've got a volley you could do there against my skirmishers. Wait, I hope I got that on any That's my artillery five, shots. So that won't do. If I anything. got that on any artillery shots, it'd be really good. But... <laughs> the garrison have oh, shot because they charged. Your skirmishers. Four yeah. dice. I'll re roll one of them. Yeah. I'm bound to miss one. Yeah, go against the red flag unit. Nothing. One casualty. Okay. Alright. I'm going around here. That's it. I think that's it because I think we drove your skirmishers away. You could. Yeah, these are they're behind the building and these guys are in the building. Aren't okay, they? so should we do combat? Uh, we can do combat. We'll just do this yeah, one. So the French have only got three dice uh, because of the casualty levels and they're unformed and the land there being in column. Got one. Got one. It's a draw. <sighs> go again. We go, okay, well, stay in there. I'm staying in there. Okay, so you get five dice this time and I, I only get, get three. I get two fives because ah, I'm bringing my reserves yeah, in. And I get, ah, I've got. Yeah, you've got your reserves. I've got my reserves as well. So we're now both putting our reserves in. Charlie's talking to his guinea pig. If you hear any strange squeaking noises, that's what it'll be. Let's see how the French do. Oh, that's a pretty good roll. It looks better than it is. I've got oh, three. I've got four. The French no, have one. I do. One, two, three, four. So the French have held on and the Lambert are thrown back. Now the French have just about hung on and the uh, Lambert have been thrown back in disorder. So uh, uh, we will uh, now uh, position those units. Uh, given that both were all were fighting in hand-to-hand -hand combat, I don't know whether I get to choose which unit is actually in the buildings. Probably, probably not, unfortunately, for the French. That probably means they're going to lose the building this turn. All right, we'll see how that plays through. Anyway, that's it uh, for the end of the turn. Now we go on with turn nine, I think. Before we start turn nine, let's do a quick recap of where we are. So the old guard uh, now moving forward steadily up to the river line. We've got the first uh, French units over the river, but they are facing quite a lot uh, of um, uh, threat as we've got uh, French chasseurs here, cannon batteries and musketeers. So uh, don't fancy their chances for getting through. The Berg is still holding on resolutely and the centre isn't really threatened. Ah, we have a hand-to-hand -hand combat to do here. As the French charged over the bridge, we'll do that in a second. We've got routing lancers, so we will have a falter test uh, for the um, uh, French brigade in the centre. And we have the cuirassiers who've broken through and driven away the old hands. All right, let's do the hand-to-hand -hand combat as we fight in this village. Yeah, we do. As we charge into the village, the French lose a dice for attacking a fortification, but they are attacking the land there. All right, so the French only cause one casualty. The uh, Landwehr cause two. Um, they can choose whether or not to fight a second round. I don't think the French will, as there are two Landwehr reserve battalions here, which would give them a significant advantage. So the French will retire. Important role for the Prussians, so we've got our faltering cavalry brigade. We get a three. I think we will do a reroll and we get a three. All right, that's not good. They will retire. That's the end of the land there, Lancers. Otherwise, on this turn, the Prussians have done really well and uh, all of their units have activated despite a dearth of ADCs. The French had loads of ADCs, uh, they allocated a reroll to every single brigade. And still, with all those re-rolls, managed to get four hesitant brigades. So the French, who were desperate for initiative this turn, so they could conduct some charges with their heavy cavalry first, have failed. Um, and let's have a look at those initiative rolls. So the French go down to a four. The Prussians have initiative as we start turn 10. Charges again. So the Lutzau uh, regular battalion has charged into the village. See if we can eject the French from the village. 
rest of Lutzer remains on the hill and the Landwehr uh, are rallying. Um, here in the centre, the Prussian heavy cavalry has counterattacked against the Carabiner, see if we can throw them back. So charges going in across the line there. Otherwise in the centre things have calmed down, but again the Troyers continue to bash away and try and break this small uh, musketeer battalion uh, and increase their foothold across the river. However, the Prussian Hussars, who are waiting for this opportunity and waiting behind the Berg, have charged against uh, this French column. Uh, it was unable to form line as uh, form square as the Hussars were within eight inches. All right, let's see how these charges charges play out. So the French are veterans, so they get a plus one, and they're in column receiving a charge, they get a plus two. Uh, however, they are flanked, so this will be minus four. So this will be a net uh, plus one for the Hazars. All right, so the uh, Hazars win by one, which became, begin, becomes a win by two. I don't think uh, the uh, young guard will take a re-roll uh, on uh, on an eight, so that result will stand. So the uh, young guards go unformed and the hazards uh, charge with Alain. All right, we've got a defensive volley here from the small Prussian battalion. And once again, they really, really have got their eyes in. They continue to do remarkably well. A great defensive volley. A 10 for an inferior volley is uh, two more casualties because it's against diff too difficult terrain. So it takes these up to five. And a discipline test on the attacking triers. They roll a six, so they go unformed. So that'll be minus two for being unformed, uh, and minus two, I think, for two casualties. Uh, I'll just check that, uh, and then we'll do the charge result. No, minus three. Yeah, minus three in the end for the French, because uh, they also get a benefit for being veterans. So the French are on four, the Prussians are on eight, so the Prussians have won by four, so the attacking French retire. I'll do the big cavalry melees in the centre. So we've got um, re uh, regular line all hands, uh, so no adjustments for those. Lancers versus infantry is nothing. So no adjustments for the uh, for the old hands. For the carabiners, they're veterans, so that's plus one, and the heavy cavalry, that is plus one. So that makes them a plus two to the French. All right, let's see how we do. So I both get a five, so the French win by two, uh, but they were charged. So we go straight into melee. Okay, and then the dragoons will fight. Um, and in essence, I think this will be exactly the same. So plus two to the French. The French get a seven. The Prussians get a ten. And the Prussians will not use their reroll for their support. So the Prussians have one by three. So they will melee with a land, and the Carabiners will melee unformed. From firing this turn, not a lot of available targets for the French, French as uh, most units are now uh, engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat. For the Prussians, their guns up here, masked by their own cavalry. We've seen some exchanges of skirmish fire. This Landwehr regiment now is in uh, really quite a weakened state. Took more casualties from the skirmishers in the wood line there. Um, otherwise, along the line, so the Berg are starting to get whittled down finally by the repeated volley by the French skirmishers in front of them. Um, otherwise, uh, we're on to hand to hand combat. Charles is back, might be time for the victorious charge by his Prussian hussars into the flank uh, of the unformed young guard grenadiers. All right, let's do hand to hand Charlie, combat. I only get three dice, Charlie gets six. How many cases did you three. call? Three, so I need to get three hits on this. I do close, I do do, do two, but I lose by one. 
um, cavalry versus infantry. Uh, you take the ground and I retreat. Okay, so we're both small units. Charlie's got a lamb. Uh, I'm unformed, uh, but I am heavy cavalry and and veteran. I only do one. I do three. All right, Charlie wins that. He wins by two. Um, he cavalry versus cavalry. You return to your own lines and I retreat. This is a close one, Charlie. Uh, Charlie gets a bonus for being lancers. I get the bonus for being veterans and heavy cavalry, but I am a small unit. So another terrible. How many did you get, Charlie? Five. Five. I've got five mil fives. You didn't get five wounds, did you? No, sorry, three. Three, three wounds. Three. And I got two. So, uh, my gosh, the Caribbeaners have taken a bit of a pounding this turn. So that's another loss I lose by one. I retreat and you take the ground unformed. So uh, the um, Prussians charge into the village, see how the French defenders can do. I cause one casualty. I cause one. All right, are you gonna, I'm you gonna, gonna carry on. fight on? Yeah, I'm gonna fight on. Okay, uh, so we, oh my God, we might get wiped out. You're wiped out, three. Okay, and we cause another casualty on you. You are faltering. But I don't know that you capture the village. Ah, I we can throw reserves in. I won by three. Uh, 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 I've got we just, we just... ten more. Because I've got my other two battalions I can throw in. You can choose not to fight that second round if you don't want to. Because you've got no support, so I wouldn't fight a second round. But I still would have killed and I can't. No, you can't because I'll, I'll have, we, I'm, I might kill but, you. you, you can, we've you already can rolled for it. We can't just add on it now. No, no, but I'm allowed to use my support. I've just about retained that village. Charlie decided not to do the second round because, uh, <laughs> as we were just discussing in a lively manner, uh, there's Charlie's guinea pig. It's the world's biggest guinea pig. Uh, that uh, the French have uh, two supporting units, and this is a built-up area, not a strong point. So the uh, French would have had another ten dice uh, to throw into that next round of combat. So uh, uh, even if the unit in the village was wiped, uh, one of the others uh, would push the almost certainly push the Prussians away, and then be able to occupy the village. So Charlie decided uh, not to charge in. So that's it. Is that all the hand-to-hand combat done, Charlie? Yeah. Pretty good turn for the Prussians. They're still very strong on the right flank, although the guard are inexorably approaching. That does look like it's Napoleon's they last throw in, of the dice. They are in a bit of a traffic jam, though, because they're quite stuck behind the whole weakened French front. They are, aren't they? Yep, yep, that does not look so good. You, you want me to break one of your divisions and then your old guard can come in. Right, and, uh, and Charlie's in a bit of a state on his left flank, but there aren't actually many French troops over here to exploit it. Now the Curacao Carabiners have been thrown back. All right. I will do our falter test. Charlie is hoping my carabiners disappear, but unfortunately for Charlie, you they do so well obey orders. You so they're just... active. All right, let's roll our activations down here. Yep, we're active with the brigade attacking the village. These two small brigades have no rerolls. That's hesitant. That's hesitant. Oh, if you've got that on your falter, so, it would be great. They're both hesitant. We've now got rerolls on most of our attacking brigades. Yep. The Voltageurs with their reroll. No, they go hesitant. That's a bit of a shame. Two twos. I keep doing that. Uh, my ah, they do have a reroll. Yep, my Troyers uh, are active, and my two guard regiments. One is active. One is hesitant. So that's four hesitant French brigades. That's just like last turn. It's not good for us. Well, getting the initiative. Hasn't. Turn this turn. Everyone's sort of reforming and waiting for the attacks to come. Charlie, you're uh, opening fire with your artillery. Oh, nearly a double six. Who are you firing at? Cavalry. Okay, that's at long range. One casualty. One casualty on the cavalry. Yeah. We'll mark that I out. I remember it. Um, this gun. Okay, what are they firing at? Just um, okay, effective range. the closest one. Uh, I think it'll be long range, but we'll check. I think it's effective. 24. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's 24. Yeah, you're right. Effective range. Minus one. No. Five goes into a four, that's nothing. Skirmishes. Yep. Four, four dice, I'll reroll one of the misses. Two more if that didn't block it, I would have killed him. If my own skirmish base didn't block my dice, I would have killed him. <laughs> well, he's on ten, so you wouldn't tell if you need to get to twelve. Oh, I thought, I thought. He was on eight, remember, we had that conversation. Okay, skirmishes are fired. You can do a volley from your uh, Berg. No, that'll be nothing. A volley from your other bug. 
10 goes down to an 8. That is uh, going to be a casualty against these skirmishers. Been test on the Berg, they took uh, three casualties from skirmishers this turn. I'm formed. What will you get? A 4? Yeah. Yeah, but they're at minus one. Oh yes, that'd be true. So retreat and one more, one d three more casualties. Roll one more, one d three. Three more. Oh my gosh, pressure starting to build on the Prussian set. So the guard off board artillery continue to fire against Charlie's guns. We have taken them up to four casualties, but we've taken a lot of fatigue casualties from all that long range firing. So both the guard battery and the 12 pounder battery have now limbered up and departed as they were both on five, six or seven casualties each from their various different fatigue casualty results. So the heavy artillery support for this attack has now uh, pulled back. All right, that's it for firing. Otherwise, uh, the only, uh, yeah, only major development was uh, the uh, break of the Berg infantry as a result of a failed discipline and repeated pummeling from the French skirmishers in the screen. So they're on 10 casualties in, in quite a parlous position, but Charlie still has a very solid centre. He can redeploy into this gap. All right, that's it for movement. I think we've only got one bit of hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's yet again, we fight over this village. It's weird, just hit the it middle. Goes all the just weird, just the middle be the main combat place. Could I have some more blue dice, please, Charlie? Yeah, you would have thought so, but it's been over here on the right and over on the far left. Well, Thanks, the far Charlie. left has been bouncing off it. On the right, the main part. The right's been yeah. a bloodbath. All right, so Can I start. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> Oop, there you go. You got those. Okay. All right, so I start with five dice. Yep. I've got ten casualties, so I lose two, and I lose another one for being unformed. I charge ability minus one and casualties. seven casualties minus one. So it's three dark. against two. Another massively powerful attack. I did one. I did two. I kill. I kill them though. I kill them. You do. They're dead. So, um, mm, it's a falter. You've wiped me out. It is a falter test on me, uh, but you are also thrown back, so can't occupy the. No, it's a draw. It'll be a draw, and I would have chosen to go on, and I've taken it. Okay. So once I yeah, I guess. Well, no, because I can then put my supports in. So again, you yeah. don't want to yeah, fight the supports. If there's no one in the building, should I want to just walk in it? Yeah, but I. But you didn't. Because I technically win it because it's a draw. But I can't Let me everyone, just check. It? You have to acknowledge Charlie, the rules lawyer, is the expert, and you're right. If you cause a wipeout uh, and you were the loser, uh, you automatically convert to the winner and take the ground. So you have occupied the building, and we don't actually go to, on to the second round of combat. So the regulars in the Lutzau, or no, actually it's a Lutzau battalion, have taken the building. But they are now on nine casualties, and they're the ones in the precarious position, potentially to be counterattacked by the French. And Charlie, indeed, on reflection, decided not to move his battalion out of this village, realising the French were down there and probably could just charge in next turn. So that's it. That's the end of uh, the latest turn, which is turn 10. We are now on to turn 11. Water test for my brigade that's assaulting the village. This is a big, important test for me. A one, a re-roll, a oh, five. We obey orders. It was going to be a two. <laughs> it came off. My luck is going to be a double six. It came off and became a one. All right, so the French hanging uh, over there. All right, now let's roll for my carabiners. Ah, uh, hesitant oh, to turn my commander around. You should have gotten that. You turn that my commander around. This small brigade in the centre is active. The other small brigade in the centre is active. Turn the commanders forward, please, for me, Charlie. Okay, then this brigade has a re-roll and is active. My young guard is got a re-roll and is active. Why have you got a re-roll on your young guard? You don't need them to go forward, though. Well, I want them to assault. My young guard over here has got a re-roll and is active. Oh, I, thought, I was thinking about the middle guards. Yeah, my old guard is active and my oh my uh, uh chasseurs i think they are yeah my Ginger. chasseurs of Ginger the nice old that. guard are hesitant so that's two hesitant brigades for me and none for you charlie so the initiative test french girl 12. french have initiative i get to move first this time at the crunch pipe in the battle so the old guard grenadiers are now moving up to the river line the young guard Use their veteran status to redeploy, move to the left, and potentially do a little flanking move, uh, end run. But uh, they're substantially broken now in terms of the number of casualties they've taken. Uh, down here, the French skirmisher screens moved up to put pressure on this remaining Berg battalion in the centre. 
and the other Berg Battalion here who was on uh, 10 casualties, so it voluntarily retired off the field. Down here, the Prussians have uh, started moving up with their Fusilier battalions, who are veterans with a view to taking the line there and supporting by the slightly more damaged Musketeer Brigade here. <laughs> the very resilient small battalion uh, still holds its own. Um, uh, Prussian artillery remains on the hill. We've regrouped our chasseur, uh, sorry, our dragoons, so they are directly in support of this gun line, uh, ready to counterattack um, any breakthrough by the French, who are starting to move across the river there into the gap created by the Berg. The French uh, voltigeurs decided not to assault this turn as they want to uh, cause more casualties uh, by all the pressure uh, from all the skirmish fire on this second Berg battalion and uh, potentially weaken it. The French in the centre continue their effectively their holding action, pinning all these Prussian troops here. The Prussians that were to the left of the village have moved into column and started to redeploy to make sure that the carabineers that have reformed the other side of the river line don't become a threat. And we've left our all hands who are just in command range uh, in support of them. Otherwise, in the centre, I'm sorry, on the left, the French have assaulted the village. Let's see if they can get into there, and another battalion's moved up in to support it. And we've also assaulted the village. The land there have started to move up again and have driven off the French skirmishers who are in the woods and redeployed the Prussian skirmishers to face off against them. So that's where we are. Huge amount of movement. And uh, um, we'll uh, come back uh, with shoot Russian guns. Just opened fire on the hill. We rolled a nine and we were firing at a uh, young guard Fortiger battalion and they have just broken. So that'll be a... Um, uh, a falter test on the Young Guard Brigade, right, and then we're going to fire this battalion, also at effective range, at the French through the woods. An 8 becomes a 7 at effective range. Is one casualty uh, on that French battalion, so we'll mark that up. And then, so that's one casualty on that battalion, Which Charlie? One? Yep. And then we'll fire this battalion over the woods, uh, into the carabiners, this will be at long range, that's a seven. Against which one? Against one. that one, yeah. Is a seven half or one, Charlie? That's a half, isn't it? Effective range? A long range. No, oh. it doesn't do any It might be effective. It might be no, effective. Not, not from here, that's way more 24 inches. Be. You can check, Charlie, but I'm sure it's not. Um, otherwise, we've just got the French long range artillery. They will fire at the old hands. That is close. They do an eight, which is one casualty on the Alhans, and the other battery will fire at long range. Which um, was the Alhans? Against the Dragoons, one on the Alhans. And that's a six, which is half a casualty, which does convert. That's a second casualty, which sorry, was... on these Dragoons. All right, so firstly, the French charge uh, this village, so they'll be on four dice, and you'll be on four dice as well, because you've got four casualties, Charlie. Three casualties. Three casualties. That's a draw. Um, Dad, we... you had five casualties. You had five. Okay, so I only caused two casualties on... Oh, no, I caused two casualties on you. Should we just re-roll it? Because you did. Okay. I had five casualties today. Well, on this unit... Oh, yeah, I've got six, actually. I don't know why you've got the wrong counter, Charlie. It's I not the one that's that attacking. One. Um... So I've still only got four dice there. Still caused three casualties on you. You caused how many on me? Three, wasn't That's it? That's nine. Maybe it's the wrong way around. Defend the village so we get the second round of assaults. Both French battalions go piling into this village now. Can they break in? They cause, yes, one, two, three, four, five casualties. Oh, I did that three. That breaks the Lutzer. I did three, I thought and I could And they all it. wiped out the French game so in this village. Really second village, the Swiss go in. I get four dice. Charlie gets three, but he two. does have a supporting casualty. I do none. The Swiss are thrown back. You stay in the village and I retreat uh, from the combat at the start of turn 12. So the old guard poised uh, to attack, but we have a falter test on the young guard down here. We've got a French brigade about to cross the river, but there's a strong Prussian defense in terms of their dragoons and their artillery in position on this flank. The Prussians are also deploying more forces to try and hold off the old guard. I think I can't. Over here, it looks pretty strong for the Prussians in the center, uh, but there's a lot of troops tied up. Uh, and the French, although they have been doing really well, have just now started to 
tip over the edge of uh, collapse. They still have three battalions on the table, but that battalion to the rear of the village is vulnerable to a cavalry charge uh, and also on a high number of casualties. And we still have quite a I few think, Prussians I on the table. I think on the, the right flank there, I think it's going to be very bad because the Prussians could only probably shoot them to death. They won't be able to win combats against them. Well, it is the old guard. We'll see well, it's how the, it's we the do. Middle guard. It's the middle guard. It's the middle guard right? first. We probably want the, the middle guard to bolter and they come back with them. We'll see. Let's crack on with ADCs for title. Doing the falter test for my uh, French over here having lost our brigade. So, last stop battalion. A4. Mm. That's a rally result, isn't it, Charlie? Yeah, but they are hesitant. But um, they do go hesitant. I am not going to re-roll a four. But if I, so I'll be able to go around. we will stay in really confused ourselves. We forgot where the falter test was. Should have put a falter test to mark out. It was actually on the voltageurs up here, but uh, uh, we have passed it. So they're on a rally result. So uh, they won't be able to move. Otherwise, we're just cracking on with activation. Good for the French. Uh, this is on minus seven because we're being hit in the flank by lancers. We roll a six. So we're on a six minus one. one. Just need six or more. And he gets a seven. That's a wipeout. That battalion is destroyed and you get the option of a charge. So uh, destroying that British battalion, uh, they've declared a charge on. They take a casualty. Did you get a casualty yes. marker for them, Charlie? Yeah. Okay, so they took a casualty for storming across the chain stream. They have now charged into the unformed cuirassiers on the other side of the stream. Let's see what the charge results for that. So uh, minus three for the Car carabiners. Oh, wow, Charlie's rolled an 11. And I've rolled a 12. Um, so I, I lose still, by I still two. Win, but I still win. Yeah, so you win by two. Um, that was incredibly lucky for me. I, you're going to do a re-roll, Charlie. I don't think I'm going to do a re-roll on can mine. I see, can I see what happens if I do a re-roll? Well, you, you haven't got anything to re-roll with, actually. It's me. Yeah. You melee with the land and the carabiners melee unformed. Lancers have still got a Ooh. good chance in that, that is a very That's combat. very good for me because I can do a lot of casualties to them now. All right. All right, that's uh, that's the charge there. Let's yeah. move across the table and see what other charges we've got. So we've All got... right, so we start down here. We've got the uh, yeah. third third grenadiers of the old guard. Defensive, Defensive volley. volley, yeah, Charlie. Double sixes. Wow, yeah. pretty good. Nine. Oh, I've got my destiny test to do as well. Eight. That's recover that casualty. Eight. Recover if you could put a casualty back on the camera. That is very good now. Do not on minus one. All right, oh, that is fortunate. All right, so down here you rolled a nine. nine. Let me just get the tables. This is an inferior volley, uh, but it is the battalion that's not rolled less than a nine, I don't think, for about five yeah. volleys in a row. That does two, That it's minus one because it's going through oh. dense terrain, so it causes two casualties, but no difference. So close. Test. Second to defensive eight. volley from the veteran fusiliers. Okay, ten. another great roll for Charlie. So that's a 10. The results will be halved uh, because he's in column. But this is a superior volley. So that's two casualties and a discipline test on that battalion. Oh, they will take one more. They'll be in a discipline test. A five. Um, and they're on five mm. casualties. So that goes down to a four. So they go unformed. That's not good. So uh, the guard are not doing well. And the Prussians are defending resolutely. This is really weird. They go in and get battered. <laughs> All right, let's do the charge results for the two charges of the guard. Very important role this uh, small resolute musketeer battalion carries on fighting. The guard charge in. They get a ten. That's a pretty guard-like roll. I might, That's I might good. commit my reroll for this one. Okay. Ten. Uh, and he gets a ten. ten. So that's a minus one. So the guards stop and do a volley, which doesn't do any casualties. That's what they've done all the time. Oh, I know. Just they've done it time in. and time again. All right, now your fusiliers. Yeah, this is better for me. Yeah, you're we're both veterans. We're both veterans. And you're on minus three because you're casualties and the casualties and, took in the charge. And I'm unformed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you took two casualties in the charge, minus one. Yeah. You took five casualties, mm, minus, minus two. two. And I'm formed, so I'm on, on minus, minus four. four. And I'm on... Again, another good roll. Nine for the guard. No! Four. four. Okay, nine. And how many was I on? Minus four. Yeah. Okay, so I'm go down to five against four. Ooh, come back. Melee 
Okay, I melee with a lan, Ooh. you melee unformed. All right, so we'll be both fighting unformed. It's not a pre, it's not a preordained out. Guard go in, third grenadiers crash into these fusiliers, but they, they're unformed and they did a lot of damage on the way in. We cause two casualties. I cause two. Okay, that's a draw. What, what am I on? You're on three. I'm carrying on. I don't think you get to carry on for infantry versus infantry. We'll go oh. the uh, land there trying to break into the building. We cause two casualties. Two. All Got right, him. we get to fight a second yeah. round. Are you going to fight a second round, Charlie? Oh, yes. He I'm is, because you've got the land there in support. I think, God, we're almost surrounded here. I think we will fight that second round. The French are fighting to the if death because they are surrounded. If I don't, if I don't, if I don't win, in this building. if I don't win, it's going to be an embarrassment. <laughs> it will be an embarrassment. Yeah. We have French lances. Oh, I've won. I've won. How many have you got? Five. Okay. Oh, uh, I've only caused one. They're gone. The French break, and this will be a falter test. So, uh... Let's see how we do. Straight roll off. Oh, terrible. I only caused one. Yeah. You've caused one. All right. I think we bounce off one another. Both of us did terribly. Uh, on a draw. Cavalry versus cavalry. No, we fight on. Do you want to fight on? That's the main question for you. Or retire. Defender chooses first. If you... If you do, you want to fight on. You're on minus one. You've lost. I oh, have any bandages. You have now. a support because you have. You could throw your other cavalry unit into that combat. No, so I am going to. Uh, no, no, I, I am going to fight I on. I can't. I can't put them in. No, because... I'm going to fight on because yeah. I've got the carabiners. I can add in no, as no, a support. No, you can only add in support in com in built up areas. That so that also uh, applies in. Uh, cavalry no, fight on. So I'll check, but I think so I can. We just checked that, and Dad actually was right for once on the rules. So in a second round of cavalry combat, you can th throw extra supports in. So we'll now decide. It's really tough for the French. The French have no less than three faltering brigades this turn. So this is a you, bit. You've risky. got to fail one of them. Oh well, this is Charlie's hope. Okay, so we'll start with our young guard voltigeurs. A savoir keeper. The reroll. A four is a rally. So you have to retire if you're within nine inches of the enemy. So we will have to move those guys. Charlie pointed out this is now a broken brigade. There's only one battalion left. If you have a falter on a broken brigade, they cannot rally. So the Swiss are gone and the Prussians have really secured this left flank. All right. And now we've got our brigade in the center. No casualties yet. Let's see if we can rally them. We get a one. You always start with one and get a five or a six. Watch. And a five! No. <laughs> they obey orders. Charlie is deeply frustrated, but he has broken the first French brigade of the game. There to be quite a lot of charges, so um, the French have charged across the river here into the Berg, so we'll have a defensive volley from them. And the uh, Prussian Hussars have charged across the river at the disordered uh, middle guard. See if they can put a dent in this attack by the guard on the right flank. Let's see how the charges go. Charlie, do you want to do your cavalry yeah. first? No, come into defensive volley from them first. All right, defensive volley. Uh, no, because your charges go first because you've got oh, an initiative. So we'll do a defensive volley from so, the old right. Rolling for the uh, old guard. Like, a seven like at flanked. minus three goes no, down to a four. No. So that will be no effect. Like All right, okay. now let's do the charge. So this is plus one to the Prussians. Let's see how we do. We roll a seven. I've got an eight. Right, I have got a re-roll because I have got a support. I'm going to re-roll the three to a three. So um, I have another support. But they're in combat. But they're in combat. But they charged, didn't they? So I don't. Wait, so I'm on dead. a I'm on a seven, and you, you rolled a what? You wouldn't even have a support because they're in a different division. No, no, they're the same. They're the Grenadiers. The old guard. Yeah. Oh, the old thought... and the middle guard. All the four battalions of the guard. Oh, are I, in thought, the same I thought you said the whole front line up there for the middle guard. No, were on. no, no. The oh. all the Grenadiers and the Chasseurs. That's why I was more hesitant in breaking them because I thought mm -hmm. the old guard will go in them. But so uh, you rolled a, an eight. So you've won by one. So uh, on a charge result, cavalry versus infantry, you melee with a land and I am unformed. We'll see what happens in the melee phase. Okay, let's do the charge down here. Again, can your small battalion for the 18th turn in a row pull off a good volley? Seven, pretty well, good. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not, not as good as some of its other spectacular yeah. shots. I just but, need to uh, do more than... Uh, two one. casualties, so you do get a bonus. I just need to do one casualty and that's it. So how many are they on now? Nine. 
Okay, so that's minus two, and two casualties in a turn is minus three. They are veterans, that takes it down to minus two. You're only on two casualties. So the charge will be minus two to the French. We roll a tremendous six, which goes down to a four. I'm going to re-roll my one. Uh, okay. Two. You can't re-roll because they're too far away and you always use them. You're right. So you're on a seven <laughs> and I'm on a six. And what, <laughs> I... was I, what was the adjustment again? Um, minus, minus two. Okay, so I go down to a four. He's done it again. Against the seven. He's done They've it They've thrown them back again. Uh, tremendous result. So on a minus... So on a minus three, the attackers retire. Rolling for this, the Prussians are on minus one, but we only oh, roll a five. A five. You roll a five. I do have a support, don't I? I re roll a one. I want a nine against a five. The French have one by four. So that, that'll be a good result. Uh, infantry versus infantry. Um, we take the ground and the Berg retreat with an extra D3 casualties, Charlie. Just an extra casualty. Well, the Hussars charging into the middle guard. Ooh, oh, yes. two casualties. I did five. They're gone. You, they are, I think. Uh, I'm sure, actually. Cavalry versus infantry. Um, melee results. Yeah, because I, I killed them. They're on seven. I could do Cavalry five. Cavalry versus infantry. They're gone. Disperse. They're destroyed. They and you can take they the ground died. if you choose the force tests died. on my Grenadiers of the Guard. We roll a six, they obey orders. We of would course. expect nothing less. Of course, it On we six. go with turn 30. Uh, effective, potentially decisive charges here as the Prussians really look to seal their uh, uh, victory. So we've got the Prussian Dragoons have moved out from behind the guns and have charged into the flank of this French battalion that had surged over the river. And down here, Charlie spotted he had a brilliant opportunity with his Hussars. They have uh, moved from this position here. They stormed across the river displaced those various French commanders. They would have had to take an extra casualty for charging across the river line, but have been able to hit the old guard in the flank. The old guard will try and form square, um, as will uh, this guard battalion, this infantry battalion here. Let's see how they do. Roll for the guard. This is a plus one. My God, they roll a double one. That's a disaster. They don't form square and they've gone unformed. Right, and then down here, um, I don't think we've taken any casualties. So again, we'll try and form square as we get charged in the flank by these hussars, uh, sorry, these dragoons. And again, we fail because we're charged in the flank. Another disaster. Um, perhaps we should have tried to stay in column, but we didn't. We tried to form square. We had the opportunity, uh, but failed to form it in time. All right, let's see how these two ch charges play out. Flank charges really are devastating. So this is plus seven for the Prussians as they charge into the French. Uh, the French do roll really well. They roll a 11. The Prussians will use their re-roll. They also do well. Uh, they roll a nine. A nine plus seven uh, goes up to 16. 16 plays 11. They win by five. Not quite enough for a breakthrough, uh, but they... Uh, they will melee with a land and the defenders will melee unformed. All right, let's see the ch has, how the hussars do as they charge in against the old. This guard. one, it'll be minus four for the French because they are elite status, but again, are being flanked. No supports uh, for the French, and again, pretty good dice roll. So that's five against four. So they win by one. So that will be the same result. They will melee with the land and the defenders will melee unformed. All right, so this is a bit of a disaster for the French, although this melee would normally go pretty well because we've been hit in the flank. None of our positive morale modifiers apply, so our elite status drops away um, and the Prussians get the advantage uh, of uh, us having our flank exposed and being unformed. Why so this is, do you want to roll this one, yeah, Charlie? Roll this one. So this is uh, five dice for the Prussians and only three for the French. Let's see how we do against the old gun. Oh my gosh, that looks like everything was fives or sixes. It is indeed five, five casualties to the French, to the Prussians, two casualties to the French. So they've won by three and the old guard battalion has been dispersed and that will be our falter test on the old. So uh, let's roll for the this combat. 
So the French only get three dice. Wow, and they cause three casualties. And the Prussians get five, six for a land, uh, and six for being uh, seven for being a better morale grade. So even though the French do well, the Prussians beat them by one. And uh, cavalry versus infantry, uh, the infantry retreat and the uh, dragoons fall back and reef. Before we start turn 14, let's do a, a recap of where we've got to in the game. Let's let's start on the left flank first, where things are pretty much sewn up. So uh, the French and the Prussians went into repeated combats for the two villages, the high watermark for the French. They had captured this village and indeed this village and had three of their four French battalions still active and in play with uh, relatively low casualties. But the repeated counterattacks by the uh, Lutzen battalions and by this Landwehr brigade, uh, in the end ground down, the majority uh, or the superiority of numbers paid off and that was supported by this counterattack by the uh, Ulhan Lancers which knocked out one of the French battalions by striking them in the flank. The Carabiners early in the game uh, had a decisive impact and uh, did clear away uh, quite a lot of uh, forces when they charged across the river uh, but they were unable to prevail uh, and were pushed back, I think, by the Dragoons uh, in the end. So uh, pretty much nothing left for the French. Their brigade over here has broken. Both those Carabiniers don't really want to come forward in the face of these guns, these uh, so solidly held villages they won't be able to do anything about. Uh, two columns that are in, two columns that are in good shape um, and, uh, and these old hands. So, and uh, little, little in the way to support the attack. So the left flank is firmly held. The village in the centre has never been troubled in the game. Uh, the French did just mask it. These two small brigades provided a threat and they did succeed in pinning six Prussian battalions here. So in that way, that element of the French plan worked. But the village held by the land van, supported by this line regiment, still fully intact. The Prussians have deployed their horse artillery with their dragoon regiments here and they uh, effectively countered the push by this uh, French brigade that was looking to exploit the gap they caused by destroying the Berg battalions. Um, but now if they come across that river, they've got one, two artillery batteries facing them, the fire from the strong point and counter charges from the Prussian dragoons. So really, uh, as they've proved, unable to get across the river, thrown back each time they try. On the right, I think the unit of the game goes to this small battalion of musketeers. They've been repeatedly charged by young guard battalions, must be two or three charges they took, and a battalion of middle guard. They've thrown them all back, and this brigade, this, this uh, French Prussian regiment has done really well. It's done a, gone a long way to securing this right flank, and it almost on its own, throwing back the assaults of the guard. So the old guard never really got into play. A couple of battalions in the end uh, assaulted, uh, and then we were redeploying the chasseurs to try and fell and come through this gap here um, where the resistance was not so strong and made the huge mistake of not realising that there was a gap between the treyers uh, and the vaulteurs uh, and the uh, um, elements of the grenadiers who were in position here and the French uh, were hit in the flank by this uh, outstanding charge by this Prussian Hussar regiment that was attached to this brigade uh, for the whole game and that has dispersed and destroyed one of the uh, old guard regiments. So I think with the old guard as you can see all those fleeing and destroyed units of young and old guard Napoleon's hope of victory has come to ashes. His line battalions uh, are uh, seriously damaged, the brigade on the far left is gone, this brigade here is wrecked the young guard is fleeing and the old guard uh, is, is having to pull back. Um, Napoleon and his campaign in early May ends in ruins. All right, I hope you enjoyed this game. I hope you enjoyed the campaign. Really is quite hard attacking against a well-defended, well-fortified position. I did think all the guard would make a bigger difference. Perhaps if I'd led off with the elite units rather than the veterans. But I really wanted to try and grind down these Prussians, but there was not much grinding going on. The most effective thing was the French skirmishers, to be honest, against the Berg infantry. Perhaps I should have waited a bit longer for the Berg to collapse and then come pounding through that gap. But I thought we could, with repeated assaults, brigade break this regiment on the right. 
How wrong was I? All right, see you again next time and uh, keep watching. Cheers, everyone.